Hello, and welcome back to the art room with Mr. Eck. Congratulations, you've made it to Taco Tuesday. What are you talking about, Mr. Eck? Well, here's what I'm talking about. The tacos that we recently sculpted out of clay. So, um, what I've done is I made a solution of watered down um, dark yellow watercolor, and I soaked my taco example in it to give the whole thing a bit of color, because... Um, one of the things that I think looks the worst when it comes to decorating clay is when you've got little white specks everywhere because some areas are really hard to get to with the paintbrush. So what I did is I soaked my taco in that yellow um, watercolor mixture and now it looks like this. So already my tortilla looks like a tortilla. So I don't have to worry about that. And then anything inside here that doesn't get painted um, it's okay because at least it'll have some color and I think it's going to be a lot less noticeable. So I've never tried this before, but I think I think it worked really well. I'm really happy with this. So let me show you how we're going to paint the rest of our taco right now. So you can use any kind of paints on uh, painting this taco. Um, a lot of times I will use tempera paints, but that's kind of chalky and rubs off kind of easy. So I wanted this year to uh, try just plain old watercolors. And this is just a set like you get for like a dollar or so at Walmart, Target, Kroger, wherever you like to shop. And uh, this will work really well, I think. And I've got a brush. You need a brush that's not too big because we're going to be reaching down into that taco. And uh, just a reminder, this is always good practice when you're painting. You're going to get your brush wet and then rub it uh, onto whatever color you're using. And then you're going to paint it. Before you get another color, be sure you rinse out your paintbrush because otherwise you're going to mix all your paints up. And um, as an artist and an art teacher, that drives me crazy. So if they are your own paints, I'm sure you'd feel the same way. So be sure to rinse out your brush between colors. And I'm going to go ahead and paint this in time lapse to save y'all time. So you have more time to paint your tacos. Let's get to taco painting. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I think this turned out pretty delicious looking. It's kind of neat uh, watching uh, the paint interact with this clay because clay kind of soaks it up. It dries super fast. So, um, and I don't know if you noticed, but first I used a yellow on the cheese and then an orange because um, I thought, well, maybe the cheese needed a little bit more color. Orange was a little bit too red though. So then I painted yellow on top of the orange and now it's got a good mix of both. So uh, keep that in mind. You can paint one color on, paint another on top of it, and just uh, kind of let the two uh, mix to get uh, kind of the color or the effect you're looking for. Well, um, I hope you enjoy your delicious taco. Um, be sure not to drop it because uh, it will make a mess, just like a real taco. All right, I'll see you guys next time in the art room. Happy eating!